Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike. It is Friday, the 9th of June. This is our weekly recap. If you want to join us, come over to smartoptiontrading.com. Link in the description below. Click on live trading alerts and you can join us for 25 for the first 30 days and find out what we're all about. So let's show up with this week and what's going on here is the market is just going back green here again. It's been a somewhat of a digestion week. After the big Thursday, Friday move last week, you had a very digestive move this week. We gapped up. And we did put in a new 52-week high on the market, today, on the SPY today. All right, So we kind of knew, we talked about it in the room this morning, pre-market, that that was going to be a big spot in the first touch of it's probably going to be a little bit dicey. And so here we've run up into it. And, you know, we ran up and we pulled back off of it a little bit. And we're going to the close. We're still holding it fine. There's not a lot to see here. When you look at what else is going on out there, let's look at the indexes real quick. The Qs themselves, similar, popped to a new 52-week high today. It's been at a 52-week high for a while. It's been leading. IWM, nice move early this week, leading, pulling back here. We talked about creating a cup and handle, right? So if you're not familiar with the cup and handle pattern, you can see it clearly has developed on here. Here's your big cup, and now it starts forming a handle, and you take it on a break of the downtrend or a break of the, the high, right? So you can see that's forming out well. The diamonds also here put another little, you know, pushing up. But, you know, participation has been mixed at times. So we saw rotation briefly into the banking sector and it kind of went and didn't go anywhere. Energy got a one, my fingers off on the keyboard. Energy got a one day, one day pop, but couldn't hold it, came back in. We saw some of the industrials get played, big move on cat, digesting that, see if it goes next week. Boeing broke out to just shy of a 52-week high in a range break over 215, and it's digesting that. Costco also breached 520 but couldn't hold it here. Still looking good. And then we go over to tech. The semis themselves here have been digesting but generally trading higher. NVIDIA digesting this earnings move very well. Still looks like it wants to go higher. Hasn't even tested that cap, that gap. AMD here also holding in strong, broke back above the range today, trying to push. Apple this week was their event. They announced their new Vision Pro goggles for $3,500 starting price. Uh, that's a good laugh. Bottom line is it put an all-time high in on Monday, came down, has danced on the eight-day and pushed back up. That was a good one for us this week. What else going on out there, guys? Uh, Netflix has broken out here of this range and up to 425. It's coming up on new hot 50 weeks highs. Tesla's had a wild week. And this thing's hot and extended up here, but look at this move all the way up above 250. This thing's been on a tear. Ford and GM are now going to be moving to their charging networks. So overall, there was a lot of different things out there. The trade still tends to be very centered on the big tech names, the Apples, the Teslas, the Microsofts, which had a nice day today there as well the metas, which continues to play in this gap area of the world, right? We saw short squeezes as well this week on Carvana off of uh, guiding up yesterday. At, okay, there we go. Uh, guiding up yesterday, got a big pop there. A firm also gave a short squeeze. So we're seeing names like this come into play. Bottom line, the market feels fine. We go into next week. We have a lot going on. I'll cover that in depth in my week ahead video for you guys. But, you know, we have CPI on Monday, on Tuesday morning, PPI on Wednesday, and the Fed decision on Wednesday as well. So with that said, um, it's about two hours to go. I'm going to get off screens a little early, especially since it's summertime. Enjoy it. The smoke's cleared out, and I'm going to wish you guys all a wonderful, wonderful weekend.